The Indian rupee has breached lifetime lows quite a few times in the past few weeks. While exchange rates keep fluctuating, what exactly causes a currency to devaluate? It is simply a game of supply and demand. When there is a shortage of supply or an increase in demand of a currency, the price of that currency suddenly spikes. So is the case with the US dollar at the moment. The US central bank has decided to curb interest rates of the dollar and also control the amount of money in the economy. Now this has led to a sudden spike in the dollar which has also increased rates of associated currencies of which the Indian rupee happens to be one. While it is bad news for the overall economy, there is a certain faction that happens to be gaining from the devaluation of the Indian currency. People sending money back to India also also known as remitters, happen to have sent more money back to the country than ever before. If industry experts are to be believed, there is a spike of 25% in remittances. With the Indian currency devaluating, there is a certain spike in the export sector as well. Now that boosts domestic economy also providing job creation in the export sector. Employees of the IT sector or people earning their salaries in currencies will be finding more money in the bank accounts at the end of the month. The weakening rupee will make these, which India exports in large quantities, costlier in the long run. FMCG or fast-moving consumer goods like these also have crude oil as their major input, the prices of which will suddenly increase if the Indian rupee does not appreciate against the dollar pretty soon. Students who've taken loans to fund their foreign degrees will also find it costlier to repay them in rupees as the value of the Indian currency depreciates. Indians out on vacations will also be finding their air travel, stay, shopping and fooding all the more costlier. Imported paperback, the latest laptop, your favourite pizza, all of it is going to be costlier once the rupee keeps depreciating against the dollar.